Good evening. It was a unanimous decision by the Seattle City Council to move forward on a plan that has been more than 10 years in the making. It's an arena that's been insulted more times than the people that can fit in it. Today, finally, given a death sentence. Eight in favor, none opposed. All right. Bill passes. A more than decade long debate. Voters passed a measure to block spending taxpayer money on it in 2006. I think economic impact, I said zero, and I joke, I said, oh, this will be near zero. The city allowed its major tenant to leave two years later. And for uh, paying off the debt on the existing key arena. That it was on the verge of being a white elephant if the city approved a Soto plan. I think the key arena is a difficult arena for hockey. The National Hockey League always looming in the background. Bottom line, would the NHL need a new arena in order to put a hockey team in the Seattle area? I would think so, yeah. The city blocked that Soto request in 2016. Uh, today I am going to vote no on the street oh. vacation. And looked back to Key Arena and to a locally grown self-made billionaire, David Bonderman. I went to school here, uh, graduated from the University of Washington. Who will spend millions to build an arena here with Todd Lywicki running point, who told us while playing in Oregon in 2012. Holy smokes, man, that's complicated. All right, this is probably more complicated than building an arena in Seattle. When many people said it just simply couldn't be done. Today, we are here in the final step with the city. Todd credited his brother Tim with putting the mega deal together, leading to the next step, a hockey team to call the new building home. Um, I am so proud of my brother who had the courage to defy critics who kept dreaming when others said it can't be, and we get to today, and now we really get to dream. We get today was so important because the National Hockey League wanted to have a shovel-ready arena project before awarding a franchise to Seattle. David Bonderman, the Lywickies, and Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin will be in New York City next week to make their case. Groundbreaking at Seattle Center to begin as early as October. At Seattle City Hall, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.